If things go as planned, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, will flight test the semi-cryogenic engine, which uses refined kerosene as propellant, by 2021. With the success of the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle MK3, ISRO's Liquid Propulsion Systems Center, LPSC, here at Valayamala is now focusing on the next level, the development of the much-delayed semi-cryogenic technology. Unlike the cryogenic engine which uses a combination of liquid hydrogen, LH2, and liquid oxygen, LOX, as propellant, the semi-cryogenic engine replaces liquid hydrogen with refined kerosene, isrocene as isro calls it. LOX will be retained as oxidizer. Various tests are in progress on the engine. Of the four turbo pumps in it, three have undergone tests at the ISRO propulsion complex, Mahendragiri. We plan to have the engine ready by 2019 end, the stage by 2020 end and the first flight by 2021, S. Simonoth, director, LPSC, said. LPSC had developed the cryogenic engine for the GSLV MK2 and the much powerful one for the GSLV MK3. The idea is to replace the second stage of the GSLV MK3, which now uses a liquid stage, with the semi cryo. The rocket will retain the cryogenic upper, third stage. The advantage of inducting the semi cryogenic stage is the payload capacity of the GSLV MK3 will increase from 4 tons to 6 tons. Using refined kerosene as fuel has quite a few advantages, it is eco friendly and cost effective. Also, unlike liquid hydrogen, which has to be stored at minus 253 degrees Celsius, it is stable at normal temperature. The Union Cabinet had cleared the semi cryogenic engine project in 2008 at an estimated cost of Rs 1798 crore. Although the idea was to develop the technology 2014, the project got delayed.